Hi, guys. Hey, listen, I got a real hot train catch for you. <laughs> this was taken the whole time I was chasing a train on my bike. And boy, howdy, let me tell you that it was a real prize of a freight train. <laughs> I think this will be even better than, than that one with the cabooses on it. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, thanks for tuning in to what may be the longest video on my channel yet. No fear Noah's great courageous train chase. <laughs> like the sound of that, don't you? <laughs> That's it. That's it. I came running down here as soon as I heard a train horn only to find out that it was moving away from me? Oh, splendid. Splendid indeed. Oh well, I got out of the house for nothing. The train wasn't moving away from me, but instead was stopped altogether. So what did I decide to do? Well, what I decided to do was rather hard, let me tell you. Yeah, I was just sitting there near the grain elevator, and I was torn. I really was torn between going down to where the train was and just staying there and waiting. Eventually, I gave in to the temptation to going down where the train was. This was one time I'm glad that I actually fell prey to temptation. <laughs> because what I saw, what I saw, let me tell you, it was fabulous. Two brand spanking new Illinois and Midland GP38s Pulling out a whopper of a freight train with a bunch of old freight cars, let me tell you. And here it is. The first time I caught the whole train.
We better take this opportunity to get ahead of him. Lord knows how long this is going to be stopped. Hi ho, Silver! Away! After the train had stopped again, I decided to get ahead of it. I pedaled for dear life, and if I hadn't taken a wrong turn, I probably would have ended up <laughs> down in the middle of town faster. When I finally stopped, I realized that the water pump I'd been planning to use to rehydrate myself with had a lock on it. I couldn't access it. <sighs> I began to regret not taking any money with me, but then again, I also debating asking someone for money because the fire department was right uphill from one of the railroad crossings and they had a coke machine right in front of the two doors where the ambulances come out of. So I debated going up to the fire department and asking the chief if he had any money on him. But I chickened out to that idea, because I'm socially awkward, let's be honest here. And I just decided to sit down on a bench and let myself sweat out. But by the time I had parked my bike and was walking down to the bench, I heard that horn again. And so I decided to catch the train one last time. One last time. One very final last time before finding a water fountain that was open and heading home. Ladies and gentlemen, concludes my courageous train chase. Adios. That's all there is to it, ladies and germs. I do sincerely hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.